What is up everybody? I'm back with another video and the title of this video is going to be called How I Lost My Best Friend. Let's go! So basically, I had this best friend who was also my next door neighbor um, and we'll just call him Jim. So Jim was my next door neighbor and uh, you know, when I arrived after my birth at my house, you know, my parents and his parents were best friends. So we basically grew up together ever since we were little babies. So he was a couple years older than me. He was like two years older than me. And uh, so we were best friends, you know, growing up, we used to do everything together man like he was like the only friend that I had until I like went to school and made other friends I forget when this happened but it, I, I'm pretty sure it was basically during like I was in like third grade or whatever you know we did stuff together we did everything together we used to freestyle back when I used to suck even though I'm the best rapper alive right now because you know I mean, my parents were friends with his parents so everything was cool until we got to the grade of third grade. During third grade, I was a little bit, I was a little bit on the chubby side. Chunky, eating too much ice cream. Mom, you need to stop feeding me and feed me carrots. I was on that chubby level. So I was bigger then, and this one friend, he was older than me, so he was a little bit bigger than me too. And he was on like a more chubbier side also. One day, we were at my house because my family throws cookouts. That's what my family does. We have cookouts during the holidays over summer, man. I love our cookouts. And my friend Jim was over at my house because you know how we do. We just invite everybody. And then my other friend was over there too. I was hanging out with both of them. And it seemed to me like Jim was trying to, you know, one-up me in front of my other friend. So he was, he was trying to act tough. You know, he, he never really tried to act tough, you know, when I didn't have other friends around. But he, he was trying to act tough at the moment. So he started pushing me and stuff, you know, just to, just to show that he was tough or whatever. And my other friend was laughing. I was like, all right, all right, Jim. He was pushing me, he got up off of me. So I pushed him. This is when it all goes down. Stuff gets real. Mind you, he was bigger than me, like way bigger than me, just to prove my point. This is proof, this is proof right here, Jim. If you wanna go, we can go. I pushed him and my porch, let's just say my porch is about Let's just say this is the size of my porch, right? Jim is over here. I pushed him from right here. He goes all the way over here and falls off. He is bigger than me. The fact that he went from over here to over here and then fell off the porch. Hey, that's not my fault. You're just clumsy, dude, because I don't understand how he even fell off. Like, because he's bigger than me. And he, like, stumbles. He, like, stumbles a little bit. And then he falls off. Like, I have a fence at the end of my porch. Like, this is the fence. He breaks it, falls off, breaks his wrist in three different places. He was going to play football that year. Um, I'm sorry, Jim. It's not like you're going to the NFL anyway. He went home crying. Whatever. My fence is broken. My mom's like, what the heck happened? My other friend's like, oh, my God. Oh my god. Yeah, we were best friends at that time. But stuff started to get a little bit weird. Stuff started to get a little bit weird. I went over to his house to apologize. And it was like, I didn't really know what was happening because I was in third grade and I was a young kid. So like, I didn't know what was happening, all the stuff that happened. I knew he was mad, but I was like, ah, he'll get over it. You know, it's just a small little minor fight or whatever. Like he broke his wrist, but I'm like, dude, you tripped basically to the fence. So it's not really my fault that you broke your wrist. You're just clumsy. You should get that checked out. Why are you playing football? Yeah, so I went over to his house to apologize. And then his dad was like, you just pushed him a little bit too hard. I'm like, sir, do you see the size of your son? I, I didn't really get the notion of this, but I found out from my parents that his parents were suing my parents for pushing him off the porch. You know, like kids playing, you know, like that type of thing. He was suing us or me or whatever. I, 
you know, because I thought my parents were friends with his parents too. And I was just like, what in the world is happening? Then I had Laura call me, like a lawyer called me one day asking me questions. I'm like, dude, I'm in third grade. Like, I pushed him off the porch. Like, we're little kids. You're really trying to sue me for this stuff. Like, come on. Just didn't really talk to him after that, which was weird because he was my next door neighbor. So it was just like, ah. Eh. So if you see me walking around and you're thinking, Oh, I can take this dude. He's skinny. He's just tall and skinny. I could take this dude. I can beat him up. Remember, I will push you off of a porch and break your wrist in three places. I ain't playing. That's basically how I lost my best friend. Ever since I was a baby, <laughs> I've never been the same ever since. It's so hard for me to make friends now because, you know, one day if you make me mad, I just might push you off of a porch. Don't test me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a nice day. It's nice outside here in Minneapolis. Who would have thunk it? But I'll see you guys next video. Later days.